Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. Today we're taking a look at WPLandingKit.com. That's the plugin's name, WP Landing Kit. And the use case is, well, maybe you want to point domains to one WordPress installation and host little micro sites, little micro landing pages um, using your default WordPress pages or maybe even custom post types or posts and some other things that you can map using this plugin. And I tell you right now in times like these, this might be an interesting way to host little sites, little landing pages for these restaurants or other businesses that had to shut their doors. Maybe they didn't have a website. This could be a really quick way for you to get these landing pages up and running. And as of today, as of this video, WP Landing Kit now has the ability to map more than one page or post or component to a domain. So you can start to build out little microsites just using the pages within WordPress, which is very powerful. The alternatives, you know, up until this point is you do something really custom, you customize your WordPress installation to handle it or your hosting environment uh, to get it to work, but it's all, you know, kind of clunky. Or you use multi-site, which is a great solution for a big scalable solution, but sometimes we just don't want all that stuff, right? We just don't need it. We don't have to think about it. We just want something plain and simple. And hopefully for 59 bucks, you can install that on three WordPress sites. And hopefully that's pretty darn easy and pretty darn, uh, you know, straight to the chase. 159 for unlimited WordPress installs. And remember, either one of these licenses, you can install, uh, you can attach multiple uh, unlimited domains to multiple pages throughout your site. So uh, even if you had it for one site, you could host a thousand microsites uh, if you were uh, so daring. One thing I want to point, uh, touch upon, check out the support section first. They have some recommended hosts. Essentially, the web host that you're using, you have to be able to attach a domain to it, uh, to your primary domain. Some web hosts don't do that. Uh, or there might be some kind of things that are a little bit finicky. So definitely check out their support page first. In this example, in the staging site that I run, it's running on Spinup WP and under the primary domain, which is in my staging site, stage2.slocum.me, I have a new website uh, domain that I registered actually today called the 10minutepod.com and I've already attached it to this. So I've already taken care of some of the back end, uh, back of the house things here. So primary domain, stage2.slocum.me and I have uh, 10minutepod.com pointing uh, to the same IP address and it's attached in my spin-up WP hosting account. Let's take a look at an example. I'm using the Astra theme here uh, specifically to show you building out landing pages and Astra makes it really easy to disable the most common things which is the header uh, and maybe even the footer and featured images section. So let's call this 10, whoops, We'll call it the 10 minute pod homepage. We'll publish it. Let's view the page. There it is, standard Astra, you know, that nothing crazy going on here, but we'll take it a little step further and we'll edit this, take out some of the components. We don't want the primary header here. We want to disable the title, the feature, and we'll leave the footer uh, for the heck of it. And for the sidebar, we don't want a sidebar. We want it to be full width and full width stretch. So we'll hit update there. We'll preview it. Should look pretty stark. Yep, <laughs> it's just the footer uh, as suspected. And we will launch Beaver Builder right here. Um, I won't go too crazy. Let's just throw this one in for now. my 10 minute podcast landing page save done publish okay so that's my landing page i mean i'm just using a default beaver builder template as you can see right here in the url at stage2.slocum.me slash 10 minute pod homepage and when i visit 10 minute pod.com you can see right now it's pointing just to the home page of that primary domain, but it says 10minutepod.com. So now we'll use WP Landing Kit to attach that to this page. Dashboard, domains, all domains. We have none. We will call it 
10minutepod.com because it has to match the domain that you're pointing uh, or that you want to attach to. And by default, it takes care of uh, setting up two sections for you here. One is the section where you're going to assign where you want it to be mapped. And the second section is going to say, well, anything that... Uh, uh, wherever anybody puts anything after the trailing slash, uh, it'll map it to the homepage of 10minutepod.com or the root of 10minutepod.com. So let's go to map to resource. We're going to say single page. We're going to choose that page. I believe I called it 10 minute pod homepage. There it is. Publish. Go back. I'm going to refresh 10 minute pod. Hopefully the caching doesn't get it stuck. That's it. Look how easy that was, <laughs> right? I now have a 10minutepod.com landing page assigned to that. It looks completely different, obviously, than my base uh, Astra theme. And that was very, very painless. What happens uh, in this newest version of WP Landing Kit is I could come in here and assign other pages to the 10minutepod.com domain. Right, so I could set up a whole bunch of other pages here, like a thank you page, and then assign that. So let's try, let's just show that as an example. So you might think that most people are going to use this for marketing sites like opt in pages, uh, lead magnets, things like that, things that they might be using within the same brand of their you know, parent domain. So I'll say 10 minute thank you. And one of the things I'm going to do for posterity's sake, well, actually, let me do this again. Let me do no sidebar. Let's just do contain for this one. Disable, disable, disable. And I'm going to give it the parent of the 10-minute pod homepage. I'm going to show you why in a second. And for the standard ed editor instead, I'm just going to say thank you and update that again. And I, I did the parent... Uh, for posterity's sake, just so that it's a little bit more organized. And I'm going to show you one little quick tip uh, in a moment, especially if you're building out a lot of these. So you can kind of see it's tucked away underneath uh, the 10 minute pod homepage. And that's just a way for me to visually organize these things. So if you can imagine, maybe if you're doing like a half a dozen or a dozen of these landing pages, things would get pretty unruly quite fast. Uh, so I just did it tuck it away in there. It'll take a view at it. There it is, just a thank you page. Uh, obviously, you can do a lot more than that with this. Go back to all domains. One last time, we'll take a look at this because it literally was that easy. <laughs> uh, add the uh, first mapping, which is single page, 10 minute pod. And if I say my custom URL is thank you, map to single page, 10 minute, thank you. Update. Boom. And now that's that 10 minute pod. Thank you there. And if I actually built this into, let's say, my own little mini menu inside of it, that's it, right? That's the thank you page all under that domain. And you can build out, as you can imagine, you know, a little cluster of pages uh, that you are using for your microsite. Very simple. I mean, you attach that with a Beaver Builder or an Elementor, like you saw that I just did here with Beaver Builder. You have these landing pages that are literally one click away. You can make all these different variations. Super, super smooth. This will work also with custom post types if you want to get even more granular. But the one last tip that I just want to show you here is I have this other plugin called Wicked Folders installed. I know it's fairly popular. Um, I don't really care for its user interface. Uh, I think that a plugin that I've... I didn't mean to click on Add New. I think a plugin that I've... Uh, reviewed in the past, uh, Organized WP is a lot nicer. It's a lot more WordPress native, but this does the job and it's free if you don't want to spend the 49 on Organized WP. So I'm going to put these in a folder. I'll call this 10 minute pod. That'll be the, that'll be the folder name. And then I will drag in 10 minute pod homepage and 10 minute pod thank you page. And now when I'm viewing my pages, if I have, again, a lot of these landing pages, you know, I showed you that little tip by tucking it underneath as the parent. That was kind of cool. Maybe if you have one or two of these things, it's not a big deal. But if you have a lot more, 
and you want to organize yourself, this Wicked Folders plugin uh, seems pretty neat for that. And you could make your own little folders for all of these landing pages. Remember, it's not doing anything structurally on the front end. It's just for the admin uh, interface. So if you want to drill down to your landing pages a little bit quicker, I found that this is, you know, a nice little tip right there. So WP Landing Kit, again, if you're making these landing pages, super easy, super fast. That's all there is today. I think you should check it out, especially if you want to make little microsites within your WordPress site. WPLandingKit.com, 59 for three installations. Again, unlimited domains, 159 for unlimited activations across as many WordPress sites as you want. Plus, they have these templates coming soon, which I would imagine are going to remove uh, the desire to, to even use a page builder, uh, an extra page builder. Maybe this is going to be compatible with Gutenberg. I don't know. <laughs> he hasn't told me yet, uh, but I'm sure we'll get there uh, in the future, and I'll definitely have a look at it once uh, once we do. All right, what do you think? What are you using for microsites? Are you going to use this for a microsite? What kind of microsite are you going to build? Let me know in the comments below. It's plugintod.com, plugintod.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. I'm about to sneeze. We'll see you in the next video.